Hello and welcome to an essay discussion. It's academic task one for IELTS and the question is the graph below shows average carbon dioxide emissions per person in the United Kingdom, Sweden, Italy and Portugal. These are four countries, one, two, three, four, between 1967 and 2007. These are the number of years. So these are four decades, one, two, three, four. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Uh, before beginning this question, it's extremely important to understand what do I mean by what does the question mean by emissions per person. Now, since a student had um, confused emission and production, there's a difference between emission and production. Emission is um, not only production, but also uh, discharge of that production. So there is a discharge issue associated with it. So without discharge, there is no emission. So production and emission are not the same. If something is produced, but it is not discharged, that's not emission. Um, what exactly does it mean is that if United Kingdom produces X amounts of uh, metric tons of carbon dioxide, divided it by Y, that is the Y number of people, the population of United Kingdom, and that becomes, I'm sorry, that becomes uh, the emission per person. This is X divided by Y. So the emission, the discharge of carbon dioxide divided by total population. Okay, let us come to the question. Um, when you look at this chart, it's extremely important that you look at it from two perspectives. Number one is the intergroup comparison and number two is the intra, the intra picture. So here there is no, there are no groups, so what we, we can do is uh, you can look at United Kingdom alone, Sweden alone, uh, only at Italy or only at Portugal. That's one picture. That's intro. So what you can see is United Kingdom fell, Sweden fell in general, um, Italy increased, Portugal increased. So these are the trends. And in that picture, you can note where each started, one, two, three, and four, and where each ended. This is one, two, three, four. And this is, you can see, for instance, a two metric ton per person fall during the four decades. Something like that to express in different ways. Similarly, you can see that um, Portugal, it, it, it increased by about five folds. So that's uh, the increase here. It about It's approximately doubled from four, a little above four, to a little less than Eight. So it almost doubled um, the picture for Italy. That's the intra picture. You also have to look at the inter picture. That is comparison between different groups. So for that, it's extremely important that you mention which is the highest. This is number one, United Kingdom. And throughout the given duration, it stayed the highest emitter of per person carbon dioxide emissions. This is average carbon dioxide emissions per person. And throughout the given duration, Italy, Portugal, I'm sorry, it stayed the lowest. It remained the lowest, perhaps except in year 2007, where it, um, you know, uh, the Sweden, it fell below Portugal. So you must mention this trend uh, since it's a comparison thing. Thirdly, um, you also have to mention uh, the do the year, the year in which about you know about 1990, when um, Sweden fell below Italy and Italy became the second largest emitter. So this is another comparison uh, that must be mentioned. So with these in mind, I'm sure you can address the question adequately. Keep the data in mind. Do not confuse it. Do not um, try to change it. For instance. Um, student tried to change one student tried to change emission to production that's not correct um, keep the numbers in mind do not do not confuse the numbers because that's extremely important
to score well in your answer. Thank you for watching the video. Click on the link below this YouTube video to <clears throat> go through another student's answer and just stay tuned for more interesting videos. Thank you for watching.